Okay, so we're about to make another pipe, and this one is based on my son's preferences. He, he says he likes mummies, and for some reason he thinks that this particular pipe reminds him of a mummy. It's called a rustic pipe. So we're going to see if we can make our own version of this. Um, this is from a... Um, a magazine I got here that I, I follow. So this is from um, good. Uh, That's where I get my tobacco pipes and cigars. So good place. So let's make a pipe and let's see how it goes. Let's start the process and I'll walk you uh, through the whole thing from the beginning. All right. So we have our briar wood pre-cut. You can see here there's no holes or anything. In it. it is a pre-cut. Um, so it's kind of roughly in the shape of a pipe. But we're going to now pre-drill, drill, and then start to shape. So I'm gonna actually walk you through the entire process. Um, one of the things that is helpful is obviously you can see here, I've got some pencil where I've kind of plotted out and essentially- And that's my pencil. Yeah, essentially where I want the shape to go. Now this is all gonna disappear as we start uh, sanding and, and uh, cutting, but it at least gives me an idea. And the big thing I, I found is especially with this pre-pilot, going into the chamber right you're, you're the, the the hole going into the chamber you have to be really careful with that um you also have to be careful when you when you drill the chamber you don't want to go too deep so um just some things to think about and um we're gonna get started so i'll walk you the process all right so avin's getting our clamp ready and we're gonna clamp in our block you do want to clamp it ahead of time before you do these pre-pilots so going like this. Yeah, let's do it like that. That's good. Go ahead and put that in there. Yep. That's really good. Get real tight. And I'm gonna tighten up the clamp down here, okay? Okay, so we've got our briarwood block pre-cut in place. Here's our drill bits. I'm gonna be using the five uh thirty seconds drill bit. Uh, my other ones are broken. Um, but part of it's also because of length. We wanna make sure we have enough length to get from um, the, the, you know, the, where the stem's gonna go to the chamber. Um, but I'm also just gonna use this as a pre-pilot too, because I feel like it's a good size. But the 964 would probably be okay too. It's kind of up to you. Um, any of these will work. You just don't want to get too big until you go to um, um, drill in for the actual stem handle itself. So we've done our pilot hole, there you go. And then here we're gonna now do our 5 8 drill bit um to actually start our chamber um this is the place you kind of want to start and then from there um obviously as you start to sand it will open that up a little bit all right grizzy's in the mix too he's helping now as well no, so not. we've done our um our drill in with our 5 8 bit one of the things i showed um in another video but i want to mention again it's here you can see i, I just used a magic or a, sharp, a sharpie marker to kind of put a line there of how deep you want to go uh, you don't want to go too far, right? So this kind of is a general marker <coughs> of how deep you're going to want to go into the pipe. And then I, as you can see here, obviously the the, the, the pilot no, of the part of the drill is in there, but you can sand no, that out once we get to the sanding process. You just want to get no. the hole in place. And then we're going to actually put our hole down here um, from the stem into the chamber. Kind of just want to look where your drill bit's going and the angle you need to get into that chamber from where you're going. You wanna make sure you're also leaving yourself enough wood around the hole to still put in the other um, drill that you're gonna to need to fit the stem, which I'll show you in just a minute. But you can kind of see here, if I, if I can get this in at this angle and follow my line, I should be right in the chamber, right about the right spot. Got the initial hole here in the back. And then I don't know if you can see inside. This car is towed onto this car. But but he moved that out of the way. So back under here, you can see there's actually the this car is the hole going into the chamber. So we are uh, good here. So now we're gonna add, add the additional spacing, uh, which is gonna allow with the stem to go in and fit for a nine millimeter um, filter, which I'll show you next. So uh, this is a five eighths bit uh, for a drill. And this is gonna go right in here. And um, that will be the perfect size to fit our stem for a uh, stem that's fitted for nine millimeter filter. That's too big. Okay, so here we go. You've got the um, chamber. 
And now you've got the hole for your stem that will fit. And then you've got obviously the shorter line going into there. And now the fun part starts, which is when we actually start to shape this up. Um, I'm going to be using a Dremel to kind of just sand this down and start making some, some shape based off the, the pipe shape that I haven't picked to my son. All right, thanks to our handy Dremel tool, we have a very nice uh, shape here. Um, this looks pretty good. But in order to get it more textured, um, I'm actually gonna go back over it with a file um, and we're gonna try to create some type of structure on the outside. Why? Okay, so we got a series of files here that I'm just gonna use to kind of rough it easy. up and yeah, give the pipe some texture. Look um, how and then, deep it goes. I know. And then we will um, do some staining. All right, we got our, our uh, stain on here, and now you can see a little bit more how the texture on there is there. It's not exactly the same as the one that photo, but it does give it a little character. And uh, we'll let can that dry. Make it black? No, because we have this is the stain we have, so it's going to be this color. And then um, we're going to come back with the polish, and then um, we'll go from there. Will the polish be the black stuff? No, it just makes it shinier. So one of the uh, one of the things I talked about in another video was the chamber and how you want to keep your polish and your stain out of the chamber so that you have the natural wood. Um, and as you smoke the tobacco, a, uh, a kind of a charcoal carbon a layer will build up from the tobacco. Um, but if you're giving this pipe as a gift, um, or you just want to have a cleaner look, or just to burn better on the front end, there is a little trick that I'm going to show you. Um, so hang on, I'm going to teach you how to actually put a pre coat in there that'll. Um, Kind of make it look a little nicer and uh, help it light initially better um, for the first initial smoke. Um, so I've got a couple products here. I've got a, a bourbon if you want to do a bourbon coating. Uh, I kind of think that's fun. Um, I'm using a high proof bourbon uh, so I've got Wild, Wild Turkey 101. And then what I've got down here is this activated charcoal. Uh, so this is a charcoal powder. You can buy this pretty much anywhere. People use this actually for teeth whitening and things. So obviously it's food grade. Uh, it's not, not harmful. Um, I've also done this with just like a, a food grade mineral oil, which gives the, um, the wood a little bit of a more oil texture. Um, but this time around, I'm just going to use the, the bourbon and try that and see how that works. But I'm just going to take a little bit of this charcoal. And I'm just going to dump it right in here. We're just going to kind of make ourselves a little mixture. It's a combination of alcohol um, or so, some kind of, uh, you know, liquid, edible liquid. Um, I would say maybe not water because that would probably, you know, make it a little too watered down. But a bourbon or even like I said, uh, you know, like an oil of some kind. Um, and then we're just going to coat the inside of the pipe and I'll show you. Here's the, um, the pipe, here's the inside of it, and here's my, uh, pull this back a little bit, there's my charcoal. I'm just gonna kinda put on my finger and just kinda rub it in here like this. Get a nice little little layer in here. Probably gonna need to add a little bit more charcoal, but um, you get the idea. It's maybe a little bit runny, probably put a little too much bourbon. What can I say? I do like the bourbon. Uh, and you're gonna wanna let that dry good. Um, so I'm going to put a little more charcoal in here and I'll show you the, the final product. Okay, so I did go back with that charcoal. You can see I, I made it almost a little bit more of a paste. So you want more of the charcoal than the bourbon. Um, but now what you got is a nice clean interior chamber with a nice carbon layer on there. And it just looks a little bit nicer. Um, like again, if you're giving it as a gift. Um, and also, I think your initial burn will probably be a little bit uh, smoother because you've already got a, a carbon coating there on the inside of the pipe. And obviously it's all safe and natural. And uh, I imagine the bourbon will probably also give it maybe a little bit of a hint of a flavor into the wood, which is never a bad thing either. Okay, so here's our final product. And uh, it's got the stem in. You can see hopefully in the light here, the texture that we added on it to give it more of a rustic look per Abin's request. Um, kind of a fun looking pipe. This would be number six. So um, we did pull out our cards, our cigarette cards from 100 years ago. This is actually oops, upside down. 
the kiwi, which apparently is also known as the apteryx, according to this. Here we that, apteryx or kiwi. Um, also just wanted to show you that these again are the, the filters here, um, nine millimeter, and these do just go in your stem right back here. Well, oh, let's see if I can, oh, hang on, let me set my phone down. Here's the pipe as cut. Here is your filter and here is your stem. You can buy these anywhere and the filter just fits right in your stem like so. And then if you use that uh, drill bit I told you, it'll go right in here perfectly. And then you've got your filter inside and you've got your stem and you've got your beautiful new rustic pipe.